the link between peace and development actually uh, was presented by the United Nations and, and many other actors through the Sustainable Development Goals. Because frankly, when you look at the Sustainable Development Goals, what are they? There's 17 interlinked objectives that represent a shared blueprint for peace, prosperity, for people and planet. That already drew a very important link between peace and security and just sustainable development and prosperity in general. We are now at a point today where the SDG stock take is going to take place later this year, later this month, but we're at a very, very fragile and fundamental point of human and planetary evolution. We've been through an enormous set of interlinked crises. COVID is one of them, the continuing conflict, climate, other water is coming up as a very important source of potential conflict and insecurity. We are at a point where we have to achieve the SDGs collectively and in aggregate. Otherwise, we will be in a situation in 2030 where the sustainable development pathways that we drew up for ourselves have just not been achieved. I'm an optimist by nature, and I can only say to you that the stock taking will show that while, yes, there has been some backtracking uh, in many of the SDGs, as previous speakers have alluded to, there have been some shining examples of success as well. And I think what the UN and what Secretary General, Deputy Secretary General will want to do is to point to these successes and say, let us build upon them in the pathway to 2030. Part of that renewed stimulus or push towards the achievement of SDGs is the Secretary General's Our Common Agenda. Essentially, the Our Common Agenda is a, to use words a little flippantly, a turbo, turbo charge to the achievement of SDGs. It presents basically recommendations that will allow a faster achievement of the 17 SDGs, and their recommendations are in four very important linked areas. One, as I think, Mr. Moderator, you alluded to, renewed solidarity and trust between people, between nations, uh, between generations as well. Second, the social contract, a new one based on fundamental human rights. Third, better management of global commons. And fourth, really managing global public goods much more equitably so that everybody benefits and not just a certain uh, part of the world's population. And it comprises principles that the UN follows actually in its daily operations. Leave no one behind is one of those very, very important principles as we go forward. Protect the planet, prevent conflicts to the extent possible, promote peace, etc. Where are we today? I think that my conviction on this is the following. We must increase trust between ourselves, between generations, between nations. You're right. Uh, Dr. Bautista, you spoke about the human development report that the UNDP put out. What did we find recently? Six out of seven people still today, 2022, 2023, 2024, feel insecure. This is not just political insecurity, we found. It was several levels of insecurity, climate insecurity, water insecurity, food insecurity, and importantly, insecurity of opportunity and choice. And that's why six out of seven people reported they felt insecure. For the first time ever, when we did the report and did the research, nine out of 10 countries in the world declined in the human development index. This is unprecedented. And it all came down to the situation we're facing now, which is one of fragility, which is one of vulnerability, and which is fraught with conflicts and crises of various sorts. I think the SDG Stock Taking Summit will lay bare some of these, but point a, a very, very positive future. And the summit of the future, which many of you spoke about next year, will be, if you will, a, a, a gathering of people and minds and research and evidence that will indeed show us the way forward to achieve uh, the goals that we have set out for 2030. The OCA is the wind under the sail of the SDGs, but the SDGs is the blueprint that we must all follow. As an optimist, I believe that our best future is still ahead of us but it will depend on the choices that we make today. Thank you.